Tonight I saw the uh, questions on the Gongfu Cha group about uh, H simple. <coughs> he said he has a simple uh, new new uh, cake. He just I think he just received it, two hundred gram. Uh, made from the leaf from 2004. How come after he rinse it twice and uh, give it for three times, the taste is not bad, but does not have a significant flavor and taste. He asked, "What was the problem?" A lot of people indicate that that is the storage in condition and the problem. When I read that question, uh, read that question, my first answer was question as well. My question to him was, which flavor he noticed from this tea? Simple, okay? Because if we really talk about 2004 tea leaves and, and compressed recently or whatever, okay? Normally the tea has gone through more than 10, 15 years post fermentation process, even if with a loose leaf we still give a pretty good transformation in terms of flavor and taste. Okay, um, so I don't know which flavors he sent from the tea liquid at this tea liquid at this moment. Is was there fruity, earthy minerals or the uh, medicinal flavors? Okay, so unless we have more information of that, frankly speaking, I can only come up my answer will be more questions. However, the problem he described alert me two fundamental issues about uh, buying the aged sample. First of all, the first fundamental question was about quality issue. Because remember, the post-fermentation process, the aging process, basically is to can make the good quality base to become even much better. But the bad quality base will not become better because of the aging post-fermentation process. Okay, So it has to be the base is the good. Secondly, is these quality issues, my question was, was it from the single source of the leaves or actually it's a blending leaves? Because that will create a different aroma and different flavor and taste as well. So this is about the quality issues here. Another issue I want to ask is, are you sure all the information, sold information is correct? Blue, uh, blue label label from the China Import Export Agriculture Import Export Company. So, are you sure that all the information <coughs> that you receive was authentic and correct? Let me be blunt and bold a little bit further. Are you sure you bought non fake tea cake or tea bricks? Because uh, those green labels or the blue label or the whatever, okay, those the so-called uh, aging simple or soapful, there are a lot of faked tea cakes or tea bricks sold in the market. So unless we have a chance to really to examine the tea and it's, uh, it's hard to to judge, but somehow when I don't know when, when I look at Aaron's profile, I saw he posts several photos of the other tea cakes. So I don't know about these tea bricks particularly. So unless Aaron's can post more photos, otherwise based on the test description, it's very difficult to judge what went wrong. But no matter what, I repeat again. The post-fermentation aging process will not make bad quality to become good in the flavor and taste. So it is ready for you to invest some money to make sure you have the right and the good quality to start with first. And then you can think about how to store 
and using the, the storing the post-aging process to increase the, the transformation in terms of flavor and taste. And most important is which flavors you are looking for. How much you know about the flavor transformations? That these are the questions for poor level.